Happy Friday, Lake Shore family. If you've ever parented a child or even been a child, um, you know that every kid goes through a stage of, I want that. I remember myself trying to avoid all the toy aisles in the store because I knew it would end up in tears um, and sometimes even wailing screams, mostly from them. Every parent has felt that embarrassment at some point in time. The embarrassment that your kid is throwing a tantrum in the middle of the store. And just when you think that you're going to make it out alive, uh, you make it to the checkout line. And that's even dangerous. <clears throat> Children make their wants known at Christmas, especially. And most of the time it's done with good intentions. Um, but if you're anything like me, you want more for your kids. You want them to see past the temporary happiness that they get from stuff. Um, and you want them to need the one thing that satisfies them, and that's Jesus. So how do we make this season of Christmas and our whole lives really more about Jesus and less about stuff? So here's my top priorities. The first one is to prioritize church as a family. Most of us know that Christmas Eve is one of the holidays where the church is packed full of people. But what our kids need from us is an authentic faith that's lived out in a community of believers. Christians are called to fellowship and to carry one another's burdens, to worship and serve, and you can't do that one day a year. So I would encourage you to make a habit, through, especially through the month of December, of attending church weekly um, with your family just so that they can see you living out that faith in real life. The second priority would be to prioritize Bible study as a family. Um, I read a survey recently that said most Christians or many Christians do not feel confident in being able to retell the story of Jesus' birth. I would encourage you to spend some time reading about the birth of Jesus. Uh, Matthew and Luke in chapters 1 and 2 of both give accounts of his birth story. Um, there's also family advent guides if you want something uh, more specific to study. Um, but I would encourage you, do you know how to retell the story of Jesus? Third thing is to prioritize prayer as a family. You don't have to be a great theologian or a great orator. You just need a sincere heart and a posture of praise. Prayer is for the glorification of our Father God, creator and sustainer of life. And it unites our thoughts and actions and hearts to the thoughts, actions, and heart of God. So I would encourage you, teach your children to pray. Show them that you pray. Uh, and then the last priority would be to serve as a family and have thankful generosity. You know, times can be hard. I get it. We're just coming from a time where we have set aside um, thankfulness. So what can we do to extend this thankfulness into the Christmas season? Chris has talked about it through November, but gratefulness is a cycle. The more thankfulness we have, the more generous we become, which leads in turn to more thankfulness. So I would encourage you as a family to find ways to serve the community, to serve the church, the local body of believers, or to even serve each other. Um, and that creates a culture of generosity and thankfulness. If you want your children or grandchildren or even kids who you see as your children or grandchildren to prioritize Christ in their lives all year long, all their life long, it must first be a priority to you. I encourage you to share these priorities with them, not just in the Christmas season, but all year round. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you on Sunday.